In this video, we will show you how to replace your distributor cap on this Dodge Ram. This will be mounted directly along the backside of your engine. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing we're going to do is make our way towards the passenger side of the air filter housing. Remove the breather hose. We'll take hold of that, give it a little wiggle and slide it off of there. Give it a quick check, make sure it's still soft and pliable. We'll continue on to the air inlet tube. For this, you can take hold of it. We'll give it a little wiggle and break it free by pulling it towards the passenger side. There we are. Let's move along towards the driver's side of the air filter housing so we can remove the eight millimeter headed clamp that holds it to the throttle body. That clamp will be located right down here. Once that's loose, we'll take hold of this, give it a little wiggle and lift it straight up and off of here. With that out of the way, we have a clear view of our distributor cap located right along the back side of the engine here. It's blue. Along each side of that distributor cap, you'll find that you have a mounting bolt that goes down into the distributor. You can either use a Phillips head or a seven millimeter, loosen each one of those mounting screws, and then we can lift that cap up and off. There's one, get the other one over here. At this point, I can take hold of this. We'll give it a little wiggle. Shouldn't want to break free. Okay, friends, let's get ready to install our brand new distributor cap. What you want to pay attention to on the distributor cap is two things. You have this vent along here. And then also, if you were to look closely, you'll find a number one. That's for cylinder one. So the wire that goes to this would go to your cylinder one spark plug. That's a good thing to note. While removing the wires from the original distributor cap, we'll be transferring those over to the brand new one, one at a time so you don't mix them up. Before you start pulling them off, you want to pay attention to where your two bolt holes are and to where the vent is. That vent should be facing towards the rear of the truck. So essentially, this would be exactly what it looks like. At this point, we can continue on to removing each of these spark plug wires one at a time, as I had mentioned. Now to start removing the wires from here, you want to pay attention and make sure that you remove a wire and you install it in the same exact spot on the brand new cap. So as a quick reference, I'll be looking for the driver's side mounting bolt on the cap right back here. And we'll remove the wire that's located right next to it. We'll pop this off of here. Every time you disconnect one of these wires, you need to give it a quick squeeze, make sure it's soft and pliable, and you don't see any corrosion on the inside. Now we can take that and put it on the brand new cap. Once again, you want to make sure you install it in the same exact location as where you had removed it originally. For this one, it goes right on this. We'll press that on there as far as possible, give it a wiggle to make sure it is secured. And now we'll continue on to the rest of the wires, one at a time. The way that I typically like to do this would be I would skip the ones that go towards the driver's side and continue on along the passenger side ones. So I'm going to skip this one that goes towards the left. We'll pop this one off of here. Once again, a quick check for corrosion. A Little bit of lubricant. Now we can take that and put it on the cap. We remember that we skipped this one right here. We moved along to the next one. Press it on there, give it a wiggle. We'll continue down the line. The next one goes towards the passenger side as well. Pop that off. Slide that right on there. Very nice click, give it a tug. This one that goes towards the center is your ignition coil wire. Since it's heading towards the passenger side where the ignition coil is, we'll be removing that and putting it on the brand new cap as well.
That one goes right on the center. The ignition coil wire goes on the center. Get a nice click from that one as well. Now if we were to continue going around, the next spark plug wire goes towards the driver's side. We'll pause on that one and move along to this one. So looking at the new cap, skipping the next one here, moving along. Press it right on there, give it a wiggle. Now at this point, we can take this old cap and we can start setting that aside. We'll take this one and we can start transferring over all the wires that go over towards the driver's side now. We'll pull this one off of here. We'll put that in place on the brand new one. Continue on. Sometimes getting these wires off of here can be a little bit difficult. It's common to replace them as you do a cap anyway. That's on there, good. Quick check. All right, we've got one more wire left. Bring this one right on over, slide it on there. At this point, you want to double check to make sure each and every one of those wires is secured properly to the distributor cap. I'm just going to take them and squeeze them in as hard as I can without breaking anything. Let's take this distributor cap and put it in place. Let's take this, we'll bring it down. As you slide it down onto the distributor, you can twist it a little bit. It should want to slide right into the perfect position. Once you've done that, you'd want to start in both of those mounting bolts. Once both of them are started, you can snug them up. Get this started on here using our seven millimeter. Should just want to turn right in. There we go. That one started. We'll do the same for the other one real quick. Now we can start in both of these mounting bolts. Once they're both started, you can snug them up. Keep in mind when you're tightening these, you do not want to over tighten them because we don't want to break the plastic cap or the distributor itself. Once you're sure you have both of those nice and tight, we'll be taking hold of this. Give it a little wiggle to make sure the cap is secured to the distributor itself. Now we can install our air filter housing. We'll put this right over the throttle body. You want to get it aligned properly here. You also want to align it with the stud along the forward bracket here, and we can slide that down into the proper position. With everything aligned, we can tighten that clamp. Take hold of that air filter housing, give it a wiggle trying to draw it off of the throttle body. You want to make sure this is secured, otherwise dirty air might make its way into the engine. 
Let's get that air inlet tube on here. There we are. Give that a wiggle. Continue on to your breather hose. That'll slide right along the top here. Okay, friends, we've got the truck back together. At this point, you want to hop inside the passenger compartment, start up the vehicle. Let it run for a little while. Make sure you don't have a misfire or a check engine light, and then take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.